Today, we're gonna do something a little different. Instead of analyzing a healthcare system itself, we're gonna look at the YouTube channel that explains it, Israel Healthcare Highlights. Think of it as a direct window into a really complex world, and we're gonna break down how they communicate to see what makes it so effective. All right, so here's how we're gonna break it down. First, we'll talk about how the channel really opens up a window into healthcare. Then we'll get into its incredible access to top experts, the big themes it covers, how timely it is, and finally, we'll pull it all together to see what really gives it an edge. So, first things first, what exactly is this channel? Well, at its heart, it's all about giving you direct, totally unfiltered access to the people and the ideas that are shaping an entire nation's health. You know, the channel's real power is in its simplicity. It's built on these short 10 to 15 minute interviews. There's no fancy production, no over the top editing. It's a deliberate choice to focus on the conversation itself. This simple setup, which is aimed at a global English speaking audience, lets them cover everything from big picture policy to what's happening on the front lines. And you can watch it or just listen to the audio. But look, a simple format is only as good as the people you're talking to. And this, this is where the channel really, really shines. The access it has to the top minds and decision makers in the field is just incredible. Take this quote, for example. This isn't just some casual opinion. This is the core principle behind a major national policy decision, the creation of three new medical schools. The channel basically puts you right in the room where these huge conversations are taking place. And here's what's so powerful. Look at who's saying this. It's Professor Yonatan Halevi, the man who literally chaired the committee on this exact topic. So the channel isn't giving you secondhand commentary. It's connecting you directly to the source. The channel also gives you a direct line to leaders who are on the absolute front lines, especially during times of crisis. This isn't a historical analysis. It's an immediate, raw debrief right from the heart of the action. And by having leaders like Dr. Shlomi Kodish, the CEO of the main trauma center in southern Israel, on the show, you, the viewer, get this completely unvarnished look at the immense challenges, both operational and emotional, that the system is dealing with in real time. And it's not just about responding to crises. The channel also gives us access to the visionaries, the people who are fundamentally rethinking how the healthcare system should work, shifting the focus from reaction to prevention. When they feature people like Professor Ron Belitzer, the head of innovation for Clalit, which covers more than half the country's population, they're showing us the architects of the future. We get to hear straight from the people building a proactive, data-driven system that's designed to stop sickness before it even starts. And because of this amazing access, the channel can explore a huge range of topics. It moves so smoothly from talking about high-tech innovation and AI to Israel's role in global health and education. For instance, the channel gets deep into Israel's startup nation ecosystem. So what's this number on the screen? Six billion dollars. That is the valuation of the startup network at just one hospital, the Sheba Medical Center. The channel really brings this engine of innovation to life. And this is a perfect example of how the channel makes really complex technology easy to understand. It takes a big idea like Khalid's predictive AI and just breaks it down into four simple steps. So you don't just hear that it's innovative, you actually see how it works. But the channel's focus is wider than just Israel. It looks at the country's role in global health, and in doing so, it often challenges the ideas we might have. Just listen to this expert explaining the surprisingly rapid aging of populations in sub-Saharan Africa. And it shows you the real-world impact of these global connections. The channel highlights programs that have been around for a long time, like this International Master of Public Health program. I mean, it's been training future health leaders from over 100 countries for more than 50 years. That shows a real, deep commitment to health around the world. The channel is also incredibly timely. It doesn't exist in a bubble. It leans right into what's happening now, exploring how the healthcare system is responding to and learning from deep national crises. For example, right after the October 7th attacks, the channel presented brand new research on how society was responding. And this number, over 60%, that's the percentage of the Israeli population that got involved in some kind of volunteering. That's just a remarkable civic response. And it goes even deeper, visualizing the data to give us new insights. This chart from that same research suggests a really powerful link. For Israelis who were forced from their homes, volunteering seemed to act as a protective buffer, as it was associated with lower rates of worsening mental health. 
But the channel is also brutally honest about the immense strain on the system. It captures the urgency of the moment, with experts like trauma specialist Dr. Donnie Kahan talking about the overwhelming need for more mental health professionals. It shows you the challenges just as clearly as it shows you the successes. Okay, so when you put all of these pieces together, what is the core advantage of Israel Healthcare Highlights? What is its secret sauce? What really makes it so effective? It really comes down to this unique combination. You get direct, unfiltered access to the people actually making the calls. You get this huge range of topics from AI and policy to global health. It's always relevant, addressing challenges as they're happening. And it's all delivered in this concise, focused format that just cuts through the noise and respects your time. Ultimately, looking at this channel leaves us with a key takeaway about communication itself. In a world where we are just drowning in information, maybe the most powerful way to understand a complex system isn't through more data or flashier graphics. Maybe it's just by listening to a simple, direct, thoughtful conversation with the people who are actually building it.